Welcome to a very special episode of Dump Station Adventures. Hey guys, we are Sean and Christy Michael of Long Long Honeymoon here with a special episode of the Loloho Show on location. Yes, we've traveled to one of the most scenic spots on earth to talk about what else? Dump station. <laughs> In this video, we're going to give you our top 10 tips for surviving the RV dump station. You can do it. Today, we're visiting one of my favorite dump stations in all of North America. Our Airstream is a fairly typical RV setup in which we have three tanks, our clean fresh water, our black water, which is all the contents of the toilet, and gray water, which is water from the sinks and the shower. And maybe at some point in the future, we'll look into getting a composting toilet. At the moment, we have a very traditional setup, gray, black, and fresh. And uh, so that's what we know and that's what we're discussing here. In the future, if we ever transition to a composting toilet, we'll do a video about that. All right, so here is the so-called stinky slinky. Tip number one, don't rush. Because when you get in a hurry, you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to make dumb mistakes at the dump station. One of the dumber mistakes I've ever made in our travels was connecting our sewer hose to our airstream and opening the black water tank without properly inserting the other end into the receptacle at the sewer. But what happened, I literally was just in a hurry and I just connected the sewer hose, pulled open the black water tank, and I turned around and I said, oh, blank. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so I quickly did a scramble to get the hose where it needed to be and I looked around to make sure no one had seen what had just transpired. And uh, thankfully there was a water hose there and I was able to clean up the little mess. But that is probably the one time in many, many years when I've made a dumb mistake of that magnitude. A lot of people will suggest that you carry around a box of disposable gloves. I carry some semi-disposable gloves that are used exclusively for this job. But they stay in the bed of our pickup truck, so. In their own little corner, tucked away. Yes. <laughs> Most of the time, no water ever touches my hands. Yeah. So it's, it's really more of a peace of mind factor. <laughs> Number three. Make sure that the sewer hose is securely connected both to your rig and to the receptacle. It's not brain surgery, but since you're not in a rush, you're gonna make sure that you have secure connections on both ends. Because when you think about the potential of things that could possibly go wrong, uh, it would be if, if you didn't have either end of the hose properly connected. Start playing the Jeopardy music. Next tip, empty your black water tank first because that's the dirtiest water, right? Mm -hmm. And let all that stuff flush through the hose into the sewer. Close the black water off, open your gray, and you will effectively flush out the interior of the hose with that soapy water from the sink and shower. So it just leaves you with a hose that's a bit cleaner than it would be if you emptied the black water last. Next tip. Rinse down the area, if necessary, with a freshwater hose. Most dump stations will include a hose with fresh water that you can use just to rinse out the area of, around the dump station, and also you can rinse out your hose. <laughs> Next tip, be sure you read the signs concerning the fresh water that's at the dump station. Oftentimes the fresh water that is near the dump station that you use to rinse the area is actually non-potable water, which means that it is not safe for human consumption. So it's strictly there for you to just rinse off the, the area and to rinse out your hose. Do not fill your fresh water tank with it. Do not take a drink of that water. It is bad news. I've seen people wash their hands with it. I've seen uh, photos people have sent me of someone washing their hair with it. Um, it never ceases to amaze me what people don't pay attention to. Next tip, when adding water to your freshwater tank, use filters. We have 
an exterior filter that goes onto our freshwater hose that is used exclusively for putting fresh water in our freshwater tank. These filters claim to last an entire camping season and so all the water is filtered outside before it ever even enters our airstream. Then we filter the water a second time before we drink it inside the airstream. We just use a Breda water pitcher. Some people actually have filters on their kitchen faucets that filters the water as it comes out the faucet. But I know there are some of you out there who are gung-ho and obsessed with water filtration and you're going to have very strong opinions on what water filter to use. So you use the water filter that you enjoy. How about that? Next tip, add bioenzymes to your black water tank. You wanna add something, some sort of tank treatment uh, between flushes of the black water tank. We like to use these bioenzyme treatments because not only do they control any kind of potentially unpleasant odors, but they also foster the growth of those helpful little microorganisms that break down solid waste. You can also buy packs to put in your gray tank occasionally. You just dissolve them in the shower and it just sort of helps you know, keep that area clean as well. It's like a little science experiment. It is a science experiment. <laughs> Managing the tanks, at first it seems like an unpleasant uh, process or task, but for me personally, it became something that was kind of fascinating. <laughs> and it's like a little hobby that you have. Because I, I really sort of take a little bit of pride in keeping the tanks in good running order and clean operating condition. I think if you're going to enjoy RV camping, you have to embrace the process because it's all part of the process and the lifestyle and any lifestyle we consider or think about whether it's staying in hotels motels tents or rvs they're all going to have their upsides and downsides and this is really not that much of a downside in fact arguably it's a great upside because you're hauling your own bathroom yeah. And you don't have to use public bathrooms. Yeah, so. don't have to share with anybody but the people you're camping with. And in order to enjoy that plus on a 24-hour day basis, every once in a while, you have to go by the dump station and take care of this task. Use septic tank safe toilet paper. You don't really have to buy special RV toilet paper for this purpose. Yeah, as long as it says that it's septic safe on the outside of the package, you should be fine. Next tip, I wanted to address this feature that our Airstream has and your rig may be equipped with. It's called the no fuss flush or black water flush feature. On our rig next to the city water inlet, there is an additional inlet where we can attach a water hose and effectively flush out our black water tank. And we do carry a special water hose that we use specifically for this purpose and no other purpose. Yeah, you don't want to use the same water hose that you use to fill your freshwater tank. It's just a cleanliness thing. Um, just in case there was something that were to backlog into the hose, you don't want to worry about that. So just make sure you carry a separate little hose for your no fuss flush. One final bonus tip use hand sanitizer. Better to be a little too clean than not clean enough. I always have these tiny little bottles of hand sanitizer hidden everywhere around our truck. I find them in every pocket. When I do laundry, I have to check all the pockets for hand sanitizer, because odds are there's one in there. I'm not a germaphobe. I'm simply mortally afraid of germs. Mm -hmm. There you have it. At least 10 tips for surviving the RV dump station. Really, I keep saying this, but it's not that bad. If you have ever been willing to change a diaper on a baby or sleep in a hotel bed and you don't know who was sleeping there the night before or go to a public restroom, then going to the dump station it's not that big a deal. So please don't let the dump station keep you from enjoying the great world of RVing and camping just because it's so simple, it's so quick, it's just a minute amount of time that it takes to do it and the benefits far outweigh the negatives. You certainly shouldn't let a fear over this three or four minute process that you must go through every few days deter you from getting in an RV and going out and traveling and seeing the country. For me, the upside of travel with an Airstream far outweighs the downside of occasionally having to empty the tanks. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Lolo. Lolo. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Being escorted by the beach patrol, taking us over to the lovely dump station. Yep, we'll get our first experience with dumping our tanks, which mm. has been probably the one process I've feared more than any other about this whole uh, Airstream camping experience. I'm sure it'll be fine though. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll survive.